It has meant so much to me to be an openly transgender woman and to have the tremendous opportunity to have this position. I went to medical school from 1979 to 1983, and at that time there was really no education about LGBTQ plus issues in medical school or, or very much in our training. I am Admiral Rachel Levine, and I am the Assistant Secretary for Health at the United States Department of Health and Human Services. There are significant health disparities, both for physical health and in terms of mental health. We know that LGBTQI plus people have more rates of chronic illness. They have higher rates of issues of depression and anxiety and other mental health issues. But th there's nothing inherent with being on the rainbow, so to speak, that would lead someone to have these mental health difficulties. It is very important to emphasize that intersectionality because we know that African American, LGBTQI plus people, Hispanic, Latinx, American Indian, Native Alaskan people in our community face even more health issues. It's because of systemic oppression and systemic racism that we have seen in the United States and in the United States healthcare industry, which has led to these really historic inequities. I started my pediatric residency program at Mount Sinai Hospital in New York City in 1983. And that was at the same time that we were starting to see the spread of HIV AIDS, uh, although we didn't even know what the cause of the condition was. We have made so much progress in terms of the evaluation, the treatment and prevention of HIV. We have what I would have thought of as being medical miracles. We have PrEP to prevent someone who potentially exposed from getting HIV. We have treatment so that U equals U, that un detectable equals untransmittable. But the challenge we have right now is getting those to the people who need it most. And that gets back to the health equity issues that we've been talking about. I think that healthcare professionals, physicians, nurses, therapists need to provide that culturally competent care in general for all communities. But in this case, for our LGBTQI plus community, I think it needs to start in our training and in school. It's absolutely wonderful that LGBTQI plus people are being educated to work in healthcare and are working in this field. I think it's really important that as we do that, this we expand care for members of our community, that we educate our peers and allies in, in terms of cultural competency to be able to treat our community with the respect that we deserve.